Good afternoon from Jerusalem, Jane. Making a short update to everybody who loves Israel, who support Israel around the world. We love you. We are so grateful for each and every one of you. Right now, there's a lot of, uh, as we say here in Israel, balagan, that means uh, troubles, craziness going on in the Israeli parliament. Two hours from now at 2 p.m., Israel is going into the second nationwide lockdown. And uh, the restrictions are almost agreed upon. They are debating right now regarding uh, the right to demonstrate and also the right to go into synagogues and pray. And the opposition here in Israel has put out... Um, well, they are challenging this. So uh, the way it looks like now is that the restriction that should have been put on people to go and demonstrate and not go and pray in synagogues, it looks like they are not going to be able to come into effect before 2 p.m. I will keep you updated about all of that. Other than that, we are going into this nation lockdown for two weeks, and it is unheard of. And that's why people is uh, that's why people are not happy, saying we want to go and pray on the synagogues on Sunday at sunset. It's going to be Yom Kippur, the most holy day uh, in the whole year. And then of course we are going into Sukkot. The Jewish people are saying we can't even go and pray. And uh, every week there has been massive, massive protests against the prime minister for people who are against him, and they are saying this is our right. This is our right, this is our freedom that's been taken for us if we are not allowed to go and protest. Of course, the government is saying, you know what, uh, we are in a pandemic. Uh, this morning, we woke up to the news that 7,500 people were tested positive. So during a two-week lockdown, everybody just has to stay home and you can protest later. So that's what they are debating right now. It has never been more important for all of you who stand with Israel to pray for us, to be put on a second nationwide lockdown, and then over the high holidays is absolutely unprecedented. So pray for the governments. It's called a unity government, but they are anything but united. They are anything but united. And that is why also we are coming to this situation right now. So pray for everybody who is in power that they will have the right wisdom and knowledge and not fighting each other, but brutally putting the politics aside and just find out what is the best way forward for this nation, not just to put us in a lockdown, but also to find out how do we come out of a lockdown. There are thousands and thousands of people who have lost their jobs, who can't pay their, real, their bills, their rent and put food on the table. So again, let me emphasize, it has never, never, never been more important to pray for Israel. This week on a personal note on my Facebook page, Israel One Nation, we passed 175,000 followers, not just on Facebook, but on all my social media platform. Welcome to each and every one of you who are the ones who are lifting my hands so I can be here in Israel and be that voice that you follow to share the news. I cherish each and every one of you. This was also the week where the Israeli newspaper Makon Rison decided to make uh, an article highlighting some of the people who is Israel advocates around the world. And I was blessed enough to be one of those people. So when I share this video, I will drop a link to this article where they wrote about me and my life and my work for Israel. Uh, I'm actually the only one being blessed enough to live here in the Holy Lands. Shabbat Shalom from uh, Israel that is going to go into a full nation lockdown. I will keep you posted what's happening uh, with the restrictions regarding the right to protest and to go out and pray in the synagogues, what the final result is going to be about that. Thank you, because I know there are so many of you who love Israel, who cares about Israel, and you want to come here, but it looks like the borders of Israel is not going to be opening up 
for anyone but Israelis until we enter 2021. So start saving. Start saving so we can say next year in Jerusalem for all of you wonderful people around the world. Shabbat Shalom. Have a great weekend, everybody. Bye.